Good morning, wonderful human beings, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a what I eat in a day. I'm kind of still sweaty. I just did a rumble class, and I'm about to meet my friend Mina for some matcha. Love a good alliteration. So, whew, I'm out of breath. What is this intro? <laughs> We're home now, and today's gonna be a pretty realistic what I eat in a day video. Um, there's gonna be a little bit of eating out. I'm about to go get pizza with my friend Meg, and then there will be someone very special joining us at the end of the day. I don't know why I'm standing like this. <laughs> But because I'm such an early morning person, I went to a rumble class at 6 a.m. and I ended up eating my breakfast around 7.38. So I feel like I kind of get hungry for like a breakfast part two in between that time and lunchtime. So I usually have some kind of snack. Today I'm actually feeling pretty okay. I had this leftover quinoa apple pie oatmeal. I can't believe I still have leftovers, but I made it in my Instant Pot. If you missed it in one of my older YouTube videos, I'll link it in the description box below. But it's one of those recipes that like you have to convince people it tastes good because it looks like you know just just doesn't look very good <laughs> anyway before lunch I thought I would make a quick cold buster I don't know if you can kind of hear it in my voice but I'm not sick I just have a little bit of like something nasal going on and it is cold and flu season right now um, and also there's a lot of that coronavirus stuff going around so I thought I would show you guys how I make one of my favorite drinks for the winter time or anytime I'm feeling kind of under the weather I call it a cold buster it's pretty simple natural it's got like a beautiful yellow orange color and since I'm not gonna be doing too much cooking today I thought I would show you at least how to make this so let's do that This is all natural, all plants. So I have to say, I'm not a huge ginger lover, but this has some lemon in it. I find it not just bearable, but like actually good. I really like it. It kind of reminds me of a ginger ale or gingerade, but healthy, natural, and a little bit spicy. Like it has that kind of kick, which actually feels really good if you have anything going on like in your throat or like you know, cold symptoms when you kind of feel clogged up. This is an awesome drink to try. A long time ago, I used to add just like the smallest touch of maple syrup so I could kind of learn to like the flavors. And then over time, I just became accustomed to it. I really do feel like you can change your taste buds. I mean, my taste buds have changed so much. Like you guys would not believe what I used to eat before I went vegan, before I had this YouTube channel. So different. Yeah, I totally believe in the power of changing your taste buds. Um, and there's nothing wrong with having it with a little bit of maple syrup if that's what tastes good to you, you know? So, that's that. Also, I forgot, I wanted to mention this at the beginning of the video, but I've got this like button of a pimple here right now. And you'll probably notice like, I have a lot of stuff going on on my chin from time to time, especially scarring. And that's because this area of your face, um, when acne pops up, it's usually linked to like hormones. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that I used to have an eating disorder and lost my period for many years. So long story short, don't mess with your hormones, eat properly, fuel your body, 
don't fuck with your body's natural processes because it has been such a journey just to get back to normal. This is actually pretty good. Like I haven't had any breakouts on my chin in a very long time, not like this, but it is what it is. I'm not upset about it, but honestly I have to say though, the skin between my pimples is looking very good. So <laughs> always a silver lining. Anyway, I will stop talking. I've got to get some work done and test three different recipes. I'm on number two, so we're going good. Um, and then I've got a pizza date with my friend Meg. We're gonna try a new vegan pizza spot. And I will bring you guys with me because that's what this is, right? It's a what are you doing video. Nobody cares what else I'm doing, but I'm still including it. I don't know why. All right, see you later. Hey man. Last thing today is we're hosting an event. We're doing a vegan hot chocolate photography workshop with um the <laughs> Jack Sir Brew. So they have a vegan hot chocolate and we're gonna be doing some food photography. Um yeah, I'm excited. Look at how good that looks. It looks so hard. Ooh, it smells really good. So we are setting up for the event right now. <laughs> we got all the cameras here. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. And then we have some Instax cameras and all our light up here. <laughs> So they have dim sum and they have like so much Chinese vegan food. Like literally everything. Over the summer and I was so It's blue I need to crack my back. We just did our food photography event. I'm exhausted. You must be exhausted. This was our barista of the night. He killed it with the vegan hot chocolate. Oh, and um, now for dinner we ended up at it's Buddha Budai, right? Buddha Kosher Vegan. Um, it's like all vegan dim sum and Chinese food. And Miss Chloe's here. Hello. <laughs> and she's always wanted to try it, so it's actually yeah, perfect. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna stuff myself silly. <laughs> we ordered all the food, huh? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> wow, look at this three layered pork. That looks legit. <laughs> but wait, if you've ever wanted to travel with me, now is your chance. I'm hosting my first ever retreat in Tulum, Mexico in April. It's going to be seven days of yoga and meditation taught by me, self-growth, and delicious vegan and gluten-free food every single day.